Representing state employees, we often run into walls that block effective policy making, safety precautions, and training because someone says we can't afford it. Uh, we also face a constant challenge of having to lose quality personnel to other uh, uh, other agencies or outside state agencies because after we've invested uh, training and experience in them, um, they go to some place that ends up having better safety precautions or a better living wage. Um, Binding interest arbitration is a method that is traditionally used to negotiate working conditions uh, with law enforcement and firefighting communities. Arbitration takes the politics out of labor disputes and it recognizes that these employees must be on the job and that they willingly sacrifice every worker's sacred right to deny their labor um, when working conditions become untenable. Our public safety personnel join other brothers and sisters who are first responders in this pledge to serve the community regardless of their circumstances. We are asking you um, here today to recognize that pledge by granting this their ability to take the politics out of their labor disputes when public safety is concerned. These folks sacrifice much and we hope you'll recognize that by voting this bill out of committee and I thank you for your time today. It's important to share with you our frustration with the current process. Since the implementation of collective bargaining, we negotiate our contract collectively, a consequence of which limits our ability to negotiate agency-specific issues. Adding to that, the frustration is a decision to suspend supplemental bargaining. Both of these processes are much more convoluted because of the involvement of Labor, Labor Relations Office, which restricts our ability to have meaningful conversations with those who manage us. Finally, the question of whether or not we legally have the right to strike exists. I would argue that the process which imposes a mechanism to resolve disagreements between labor and management, we have the right to strike. I, intend, I tend to look at the interest of arbitration as more of a safety net, ensuring public safety is the priority. The idea of striking for correctional employees runs afoul of our commitment to protect. Unfortunately, when existing processes fail us, our issues fall upon deaf, deaf ears. We must have the ability to seek resolution. We were placed in that situation last year over negotiations with which almost ended in a strike. We currently have many safety issues that need to be resolved. For example, in rural areas, the firearm threat is more likely to come from a rifle than a handgun. Our current ballistic vests will not stop a rifle round. These issues need to be resolved. They need to be resolved timely. We are painstakingly aware of the potential consequences. I urge you to pass this bill, and I thank you for your time.